Hi everybody, it's Linda. I am back with a couple new journals that I'll be putting into my Etsy shop today. And I'm excited about these because they are Liberty of London fabric themed, little cutie journals, which to me means I've made them um, from a paper bag and they are a bit of a smaller size. They are about six inches tall by about five and a half inches or four and a half inches wide. They have 30 pages, um, so a total of 60 sides. And these adorable things are just filled with little bits of Liberty of London fabrics, which is just such a favorite of mine. So let's dive in, take a look. I'm gonna go through this one first. They're both very, very similar using very um, some of the very same fabrics. The covers are a little different. So this one uses this um, peach and blue floral <clears throat> fabric, a piece of a snippet with a um, Tim Holtz trinket pen and some beaded dangles. I used a paper bag that I covered with um, a scalloped linen tea towel that I sewed to the paper bag and also then added some Liberty of London um, fabric to the top and then uh, the topper piece. I also sewed in a Liberty of London fabric ruffle here, not fabric ruffle, fabric pocket. And I love, um, I use the edge of the fabric that has that color guide, which I just always love that piece on any um, bit of fabric that I have. So another thing that makes this these journals um, unique is that I did not use any digitals. They are all made with papers from my own stash. And um, since you know Liberty of London is not something, those prints are not something that you can purchase digitals of or make digitals of, but I purchased this book it was something that I looked at for a long time before I got it, but it's 100 writing and crafting papers um, with Liberty of London prints. So, um, and it also tells some of the history of um, the Liberty of London. Not a lot of, mostly just papers, but how wonderful is that? So I ordered the book, hoarded it for a little bit, not wanting to use them, and I thought, you know what? I need to create some journals and share share some of this beautiful paper. So anyway, so that's what I used in lieu of um, digitals. I used some of the actual papers from that Liberty of London um, book. Okay, this is one of them. And then in this front cover is a library card and a letter from me and I um, used a little bit of the one of the Liberty of London papers for that little collage there. There's a little another um, little piece of fabric here with a handmade with love um, charm from a hanging from a garment or bulb pin. Okay, I have some of my um, coffee dyed paper here. And then what I decided to do for this journal is to create a master board um, for both of these journals. So I created a master board using um, some of the Liberty of London paper and some coordinating book page and vintage ledger and um, vintage images from my collection and such. So this is a, a tuck that I created and a journaling card from the master board. So it's one of a kind um, ephemera in here for sure. This is some um, beautiful coffee dyed paper and a Liberty of London fabric um, tab. This is another of the Liberty of London papers from the book. A um, fabric ruffle that I made and underneath is a birdie, birdie tag and a journaling card and it's over the top of a braille paper 
which I love to use. Okay, and this is the back side of that Liberty of London um, printed paper. Okay, here is another um, triangle pocket that I made from the master board and this um, journal card. Some avocado dyed lined paper. Here's a little paper bag that is um, sewn into the signature and a little tag that I made from the master board with some adorable little Timmy people there. And this is a little piece of the Liberty of London fabric there on the bag. Another little piece of the paper and a little collage on the back. Some vintage music paper, um, gardening book, and here is a um, fabric flip, and it's got some wonderful um, vintage tatting as a little topper for that fabric. Isn't this just the happiest little fabric print? So wonderful for summer. I would love to wear a blouse made out of that, like over a pink tank top or something. How cute would that be? Anyway, okay, here is another little pocket and tag that I created from the master board. You can see I've used quite a lot of the Liberty of London papers and fabrics in, on the master board as well. It was fun to make. Here is a some vintage ledger, some vintage map, and I used a vintage map of England. I thought that was kind of appropriate. Here's a, a little um, tab on some avocado dyed paper, the other side of their vintage yearbook. Here's a, a Tim Holtz uh, die cut there. This is a Liberty of London print, and this is the center of the signature. And I'm gonna try to bring these. I beaded the centers so that they dangle from the bottom. I don't know if I can get these up there so that you can see. <laughs> Probably not well, I apologize, but, oh, sorry. So those dangle down from the bottom. I made a little, uh, a little bow and these are some little shell charms and uh, this is a piece of an old earring and we'll bead there. Okay. So I hope I'm staying in frame and doing okay here. So it's okay for the watching. And we're getting to the back sides now of some of the other, uh, of some of the signature pages. Here is a little fabric ruffle. Another pocket here with some uh, coffee please notebook paper. The back side of the gardening book with another fabric flip. Liberty of London. And here's the other side of that paper bag and I just created a little tag here on the flap and I took a little leftover strip of the Liberty of London paper and um, hooked these tags or tickets together. I thought that was kind of a fun little accent there. Here is another of the master board pockets and tag. The braille page. This is the Liberty of London paper. This is the back side of that um, coffee dyed paper with yet another fabric tab. A bit of writing paper, coffee dyed paper, and last but not least is the back side of the Liberty of London print paper. In the very back pocket here, I have um, a beaded tea bag and one of my Kool-Aid dyed 
index cards. And since it's a paper bag, it actually has a back pocket. And I made this cute little um, tablet that has a little dangle of scissors and a Liberty of London topper. And this little surprise sticker stuck to the back of it. Okay, so the back of the journal has the closure and just um, a little square of the fabric and I tied it with lace, um, lace closure, lace under the, uh, under the cover here. So that is the first one. Okay, the second one let's look at together here. And this one has a little, some pinks and greens in the fabric on top. It's a little brighter, um, but in the same inside is pretty much of the same fabrics as in the other. The beaded um, trinket pin from Tim Holtz and my own little beads from my collection. Back is the same as the other back with just a square of the fabric. The lace closures. And let's take a peek. Okay, as you can see, the letter from me in the envelope, the library card, and another little snippet of the fabric and a bulb pin that says Handmade with Love on the charm. This is another one of the Liberty of London papers. I love that print. I am such a fan of the mustard yellow with pink or rose together. I love that combination. Some avocado dyed paper. The um, master board tuck spot with a tag or just a journal card. And this is a Liberty of London um, paper which I love also. It's got these, looks a bit colonial, a little bit of a colonial style. Uh, women and bunnies and flowers, and I put a little, um, little fabric tab on that. This is the belly, belly band that I made from a Liberty of London ruffle. The, um, little birdie tag and project life card tucked underneath there. Here is a master board um, pocket and journal card that I made. Some um, avocado dyed paper. This is the paper bag with the master board tag inside and the Liberty of London fabric. And then a collage on the back, some vintage um, music paper and gardening page. Here again is yet another um, pocket and tag from the um, master board that I made. These cute little Timmy kids. And she is a goody two shoes. You can just tell by the look on her face. And this little guy. He's not happy. He's not happy that this little girl's in the picture. He says she's a goody two-shoes. Anyway, little fabric, um, Liberty of London fabric topper. I love the little Timmy people, and I love making up stories in my head about what they're saying and what they're thinking. Okay, here is the vintage ledger. Vintage map. Here's a, another little fabric tab. Here is a fabric flip with the, the happy floral. This is the center of this signature, and I'm going to bring these beads up and see if I can't get you a, a close up of the beads and fabric that are on the end of these signature strings. I don't know. <laughs> I keep looking and I'm like not even in the not even in the camera. I'm sorry. I do try. <laughs> okay. One of these days I'm gonna get better at this. This is uh 
another fabric flip with some fun matching um, vintage lace on top. These cute kids in the vintage yearbook from the 40s. Okay, so the back side of the signatures. Here is a fabric ruffle. And here's another um, pocket that I made from the master board in that Coffee Please note paper. The back side of the um, paper bag with some tickets. This is a Liberty of London paper. And the um, avocado dyed lined paper, and I love this one. This is from the master board. This one side says spread sunshine, and there's a cute little bunny. I had a, a sheet of rubber stamps that were put on um, like deli paper or tracing paper, and I love to cut them out and add them to master boards here and there. Okay, and here is the back side of that paper, Liberty of London um, paper, and more coffee dyed, and love this mustard yellow um, Liberty of London fabric. That's one of my favorites. That was one that I actually splurged and bought an entire yard of, and oh, I've used almost all of it. I made some masks out of that um, at the beginning of the pandemic. Okay, so here is the final page. And it's got the tea bag with the um, beaded ends. It has one of my coffee dyed index cards. And inside of the pocket, it also has a um, little flip-up notepad that I made and put some little fabric topper and a little scissors charm. Okay. So these are the two new journals. They are going into my Etsy shop which has the same name as my YouTube channel, Joyful Makes and Finds, and they should be in there this afternoon. I have the photography done, I just need to finish the listings. So I appreciate you taking the time to, to watch. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and um, what kind of themes or colors or what you like to see in handmade journals and um, anything else you'd like to share with me would be great. I appreciate my subscribers, my little channel. I'm getting, getting a little, edging a little closer to 500 subscribers, so that's exciting. So um, probably going to do a little give giveaway when I get there for my first 500. Um, and that's about it. That's all I know. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.